Okay, so, like, you know, The Course in Miracles talks about um, magic, you know, magical stuff, and actually that God did not create cancer, it's not real. You know, God did not create allergies, they're not real. God did not create um, mold, mold toxins, so it's not real. Uh, God did not create, um, you know, God did not create any of that. Now, I think a lot of the Course in Miracles teachers will say that, you know, do use magical means if you, if you have to. So I'm not against magical means. Magical means is the idea that something in the external world has power to save you. You know, like, I can, I can put a pill in my mouth and that pill will be the source of my salvation. Or if you give me enough pieces of green paper that I can put in my wallet, then I'll be safe. So that, that's what's called magical, ascribing, you know, you know, this magic. I think, yeah, that's what it's called. I think the magical things to, to think. So if you really believe that, it does actually work. You know, like, if you really believe this pill that they say is going to save your life, will save you, and you really believe it, it does actually work. They call that the placebo effect, anyway. So, uh, if you're going to die and they say, like, take this pill, then take the pill, you know, and if you, believe, you know because that's, uh, that's, a, that's a good thing to do. However, um, ultimately, um, for me, the, the truth is I'm not subject to these things, and actually nothing externally has the power to save me, mm. in absolute truth. But in the middle, meantime, you know, I, 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 I do think, you know, I'm not against taking, I do, you know, taking medicines or whatever. So, um, just to give you, but I experienced these infinite states of light and love. I, I'll just share this. This might be helpful just to share some of my spiritual experiences. I once went to meet a teacher of enlightenment, and, uh, and because I knew I was meeting a teacher of enlightenment, my ego suddenly flared up with all its symptoms because it didn't want to meet the teacher of enlightenment. So suddenly, like, I had gout in my feet, I had a voice say, you can't go, just cancel the appointment. <laughs> you know, it was like, you know, the ego was like putting so many physical symptoms mm. so I wouldn't meet the spiritual teacher of enlightenment. And, you know, this, you, my feet were swollen in pain. I had this voice, like, just cancel it, you know, mm. you just stay at home. And, um, and then something very deep within me say, if you don't meet the teacher, you'll miss your chance this lifetime. Uh -huh. You know, I thought, oh my God, you know. So that was stronger, actually, than the, the huge pain. So I sort of hobbled and limped in agony to meet the spiritual teacher who had, who had agreed to meet me for a one-to-one, -one, which was very auspicious, a one-to-one -one with, with a teacher of enlightenment. So I got in, and I, I sort of moaned to him that I was thinking of not coming. <laughs> and, I mean, just ushered me into this little room. So I, I actually had... You know, and it was like, you know, it was like agony to get there. And my feet were swollen. And he ushered me into his little room. And, uh, and then he was asking, like, what's, what's, what's witnessing? What's witnessing this? And, and I said, oh, yeah, I get to this witnessing behind me. He said, oh, is there a little man there? What's witnessing that? You know. <laughs> and then suddenly I had a white light spiritual experience. You know, there was no thought. I was catapulted into infinite light and infinite power. And there was nothing just power and love beyond recognition. Uh, mm. to, to be in that place and to think of this place, this would be like a world of darkness and hell and suffering unending compared to that infinite power and light. But I, eventually what happened was there was a, there seemed to be the impossible, which was a connecting to a thought. That mm. seemed to be impossible, but something latched on to something like a thought and suddenly was back into the room with, uh, with the teacher. But I was now like in a state of bliss, mm -hmm. you know, like I, I could just sit there in that chair in infinite bliss forever. And he, he looked at me and just said like, you better leave now. So, um, <laughs> so he sort of like just got me out of the chair and left. And he, like everything was in technicolor. You know, there was this, everything was like, I came in a, in a dark day and it was like bright summer, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and, um, and I was walking, I was, I was just witnessing happening of the ecstatic beauty of everything being witnessed. And, uh, and then it came afterwards, you know, after I came back down out of that, there was a memory that actually all the pain had gone in one split second. You know, there was no awareness of the body, there was no awareness of pain, that it didn't even exist after that experience. So from that, you know, 
to immerse oneself in that infinite power and light, all illnesses disappear in one second. Not even, I don't, you know, painkillers, you know, maybe morphine, but morphine is not even good, a good comparison. Mm -hmm. So to be cast off into the light of God would heal all your illnesses in just a split second. Mm -hmm. So that just shows. So I was, I just looked at, by God, like, God is the ultimate healer. Yeah. You know, I go to a doctor, like, give me a pill. You know, I'm suffering with this, that, and the other. Um, just some things, just, I'm saying this to break the belief system, because people have such belief systems around illness and suffering, yeah. like, oh, if I find the right pill or the right, you know, I once remember in you know, my spiritual exploration, I did all kinds of things, like, you know, I went into fame, uh, anyway, I won't say that story, but I did all kinds of weird things to try and heal myself. <laughs> and, you know, I remember, like Hawkins said, like, you know, so... You can also take, mag this is a trick, I think this is a great trick. You can take magical cures from the world and say this thing at the same time, which is, I cancel my belief in the adverse side effects of this. So I knew then, like, you know, when I got my transplant and they gave me a 13 medication, I've got proof of this. I can show, like, a list of 13 medication and then two years later, like, one medication. This is when I was doing cancelling the beliefs. And, uh, and I, so I was popping all the 13, all these bag of tablets every day and saying I cancel my belief in adverse side effects of medication. And within two years, I was down to one medication and the, and, the, and the consultant saying he doesn't know of anyone else in the hospital who's a transplant patient taking less medication than me. So these miracles, like I knew God is the ultimate power. I knew God, God has not created kidney failure. God is more powerful than a pill from the doctor. Mm -hmm. And so all of these things changed. So I knew the real power, what mires me into allergies, into belief systems, into kidney failure, into gout, into pain, are my belief systems and the repressed emotions. Mm -hmm. You know, that's all it is. If, I, if they disappeared through spiritual work, God can do miracles, literally. I mean, the only word to call it is a miracle. Mm -hmm. You know, so... You know, from 13 to 1, uh, as I felt the feelings and cancelled my belief in gout, I was discharged from the rheumatology clinic. As I sat with those asthma attacks um, and felt them, like the suffocation of not being able to breathe, and then they became less and less intense, and then I was discharged from the asthma clinic. Your breath's fine, we're discharging you. You know, so I knew from my experience, like, tapping into that infinite power and cancelling my beliefs and feeling the feelings, like God has performed multiple miracles. So, um, so I have, you know, nowadays I have very little belief. I mean, I will take magical means, but I know the ultimate power is, is God, you know, and like, if I could connect to God, um, then the illness would vanish in a split second. Now, if I start identifying with my limiting beliefs again afterwards, that's a different story. That's another story of like, oh, yeah, there was an, I wanted to do another video on discipline. So that's my testimony, like the power of God and the power of cancelling beliefs. Like, you know, I do not believe any belief system. I don't believe such a thing in cancer. I have to put a medical health warning on this video, don't I? So please consult your medical, I'm not a med medical doctor. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'm not a, you know, so do, and I do, I actually really do, I, I do take doctor's stuff, um, but I do it in conjunction with my spiritual stuff, so I'm not against, you know, uh, taking whatever they tend to take.